My name is Yuan Wu, and this is my studio area, and um, let's start the day. So welcome, welcome to my studio. So this is the start of my day. I tend to come in and I make a cup of coffee or tea, depending on my mood that day. And um, what I like to do when I come in is that I just spend some time with the work, spend some time with the space, spend some time looking what I've done the day before. Let's look at this wall here, which is really about uh, my background and uh, my uh, why I'm making this work. This, this wall is called the accumulation of dreams. And it's called that because it's really about um, coming to America and how we've built dreams as immigrants. So I came to the United States when I was seven from Taiwan. And when I first came, I really thought that the streets were gonna be paved in gold. So I have, starting from here, you know, images of gold bricks. Um, but really, what, uh, the use of gold is really about the history of the Chinese coming to America, you know, the Gold Mountain. Uh, so I've, as you can see, there's um, works that are abstracted images of the gold mountain and um, you know the gold mining and gold is a is a um, is a symbol of success in many ways so I've also chosen to use gold as one of my mediums and this particular project I really wanted to bring it to the level of global migration. And at that time, there was about 65 million people displaced. That's a lot of people that are forcibly displaced. So in this iteration of migration, um, we really want to talk about women and children and the vulnerabilities of women and children uh, during this, this uh, crisis. Um, you know, it, in that way, we thought the best thing to do was to, how do you represent women? They're the ones that uh, raise home and family, as well as many other things. But we decided to represent this with the way, uh, by using um, fabrics. Uh, in that way, we also then um, did these symbolic bundles, because it is what you you need to bring and what you leave behind when you're in a hurry to escape a certain circumstance. And it is, we really wanted to bring in this conversation the stories of people having to leave. I think that women are incredibly strong and they are the, um, the backbone of so much that continues to survive from one generation to another. So part of this project is as we're talking, you are going to make a bundle, hopefully. So you can select any fabric that you want. Um, so please feel free to use anything you want. And, and you could tie it or bundle it or cut it in any shape that you want. You continue or you can start whatever you like. Um, pick something and yeah, feel like free to. Color. Yeah, you like the color. And we could cut it to any, sh any um, size that you would like. Um, here we go. So, how large would you like it? Maybe around that shape? Yeah. About here? Mm -hmm. Okay. I tend to just rip it now because it works really well. <laughs> okay, here you go. Um. Why do you think this? Bundle can represent different people's stories. 
because I think uh, they're just symbolic. So would you like me to cut this again? When you leave a place, you maybe put it in your backpack. You maybe put it um, in your suitcase. My father came with one suitcase. Um, maybe you just tie it up just like that. You have no choice. You have very little time mm -hmm. to organize leaving. And so the bundle is a concept of what you are bringing, what you have left behind, where you're going, what you hope to bring with you, and what you hope to get when you get to this new place of opportunity. And you can use a ribbon. Mm -hmm. um, you can choose what you like. And there you go. You do it the way you like, as much as you like. It's very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just wrapping up things that you hoped that you would bring and things that you hoped that you can get here in the United States. <laughs>